What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we have some interesting news coming from the Datamine team. These guys, since the update has gone live, they've gone into the game's files and identified different files that weren't there prior to the update. And this is giving us a bit of a hint as to what we should be looking forward to heading into the anniversary period. We do know that Legend Jack is going to be arriving on the 28th of April, 1900 PST time. So we should be getting information about what that character actually does today or tomorrow um so when that does eventually drop i'll be making a video in regards to what legend jack does but remember that is like a pre-anniversary kind of like a bait banner trying to get people to spend their gems before the big anniversary period so it goes without saying that you probably should be conserving your gems until this arrives or until something else arrives later on. So shout out to the One Piece Treasure Cruise Icons Twitter account. I'll leave a link to their Twitter down below in the comment section or in, in the description. But this is what was given to us today. So we can actually go ahead and zoom in and have a look. But uh, it says the first leak is the new Enma feature for a new character, probably a Legend Zora for the ninth anniversary. I completely agree. I mean, there's only two characters that, that an Enma related effect could be referring to zoro or odin and considering what we are expecting for the anniversary and the fact that the pre-anniversary bait is jack i feel like it's all but confirmed that it's going to be a new zoro character considering zoro and enma are a big focus in the recent anime episode so makes a lot of sense but you can see here that it says enma gauge charge shine enma gauge charge shine weight so these are all just different files that are used to uh, show certain images on the screen at a certain point in time so there is a logo active logo max logo normal so interesting uh there is the uh max normal and then there is level one level two and level three which i thought was also kind of interesting so whether the gauge has three different stages or it's just like uh kind of like a special where you can launch it at like level one you could launch it at level two or level three to get varying different effects uh, i'm not really 100 percent sure as to where they could be going with this i don't think anyone would be 100 percent sure in terms of how this is going to work until we actually see the character information in game which i legit cannot wait for then there's also the special attack enma gauge one enma gauge two and then the max so this is what i'm saying like they could be uh different effects depending on the gauge level and just this in general it's a unique gauge for this new character relating to enma which is why i think and why many people think that this is referring to roro nora zoro and it makes a lot of sense you know a lot of people are still saying that you know a new legend zoro and legend king you know zoro versus king or zoro and king legend the fact that this is built the way it is how we have this unique gauge that is focused only on enma specifically leads me to believe that this is for a solo legend zoro uh, I feel like if it was, you know, a Zora versus King, then this wouldn't make sense to have Zora with a unique Enma gauge because when you switch over to King, it's not like he has an Enma gauge. It doesn't make sense. Uh, we haven't seen a unit with, um, you know, a versus effect where one versus gauge is named something different. I don't think that would be the case either. But then again, considering who king is what if we have a zora versus king and then the versus effect of zora is referring to enma and then the versus effect of king is referring to his lunarian state i could definitely see that being a thing potentially you have like a versus king side of things where he has the ability to negate damage for an extended period of time while he has his flame activated something like that would actually make sense that would be pretty cool actually but just specifically due to the files that are named Enma, I feel like this is a solo legend, uh, Zor. But, you know, because if, if that was the case, I feel like King King's files would be in the game if King had a unique gauge for his Lunarian state, where it'd say like Lunarian gauge or Lunar gauge or something like that. So yeah, the fact that all these files are signifying one thing leads me to believe it's going to be a solo legend Zor. And the first thing that I thought of when I, when I was reading this was this Luffy. So this is a very old Luffy. I believe this was also an anniversary Luffy. I think it was the fourth anniversary for Japan. For those of you who know exactly what this Luffy does, you know, it makes a lot of sense with, it goes hand in hand with, with what we've seen so far. 
But this Luffy is another character that came out that also had a unique gauge that only he got access to. And the way that it worked is, is every time Luffy himself hit a perfect, or any time anyone on your crew consumed a recovery slot, it would slowly build up that gauge. Once the gauge got to level 5 out of 8, you could actually change his form uh, to gear 2nd and gear 3rd Luffy, and then eventually you could actually go ahead and when it's at max gauge, you could switch over to gear 4 Luffy. So the fact that you could have this ability to switch Luffy into all of his gears in the middle of a quest was really unique and a lot of fun, and a lot of people really enjoyed that. So I think it would be interesting, you know, Zora has this unique gauge with his Enma, and depending on what level Enma gauge you have activated, you can get various beneficial effects, ranging from things like being able to bypass defensive effects would be absolutely insane, or potentially this may have something to do with the new Rush Tap mechanic, probably Probably not though because we do have confirmation that rush tap um, is in the game as well uh, and we'll, we'll talk more about that right now but yeah the new rush potential effect you've got the tap start finish finish start rush button wait just regular generic files that you'd expect to see um, this is what the in-game notice mentions about rush how you start off with your perfect you get rush taps and then there is a finish tap which goes hand in hand with the files that we've seen in regards to the starting of a tap and then also the finishing of a tap but also we do have full confirmation here that the new rush sugo special is confirmed to be a potential ability that you can level up much akin to super tandem as well as final tap now this has both positives and negatives about it it means that this rush mechanic means that you know that getting dupes of these units is going to be incredibly valuable but that's also the negative of the of the fact where you know we have final tap characters and super tandem characters that have released over the past 12 to 24 months and we know that they are very difficult to get a hold of especially the super sugo fest exclusive versions of these characters and because th this is releasing now for anniversary we do know that essentially most of the anniversary characters should have this new mechanic but it also means that there's going to be a lot more characters that are going to be releasing over the next 12 months or so that are going to also have this mechanic. Uh, and a lot of people are going to point to that new big character that we're all specifically waiting for. Yeah, I feel like it's a pretty good call that this unit is going to have that particular potential ability. But also, we need to talk about what Rush actually is because there was some information in game as to what the Rush mechanic actually does so shout out to Godot for compiling this here so as we know it is a potential ability to launch the rush sugo special you need a certain amount of hp and meet a tap requirement so there you go it's very similar to what we have here when you spend hp you can deal more attacks uh when active you will be in a rush status where your hp is spent while you attack and i feel like this does go hand in hand with like the enma zoro because as we know the the sword is like stealing zoro's power so it would kind of make sense if you're using this rush mechanic to attack with this sword with enma that it actually takes some of your hp away that'd actually be, be actually pretty cool but it also says depending on the number of successful attacks you will gain additional boosts after the attack during rush status your attack multiplier will be replaced with a rush effect multiplier this multiplier varies depending on the character this is also very interesting so the way that i kind of get this is that potentially when you enter this rush status like your captain abilities are like pseudo turned off and then you get a different multiplier based on your rush status so this has me a little worried because i hope that if you enter rush status and it let's say negates the multipliers of your captains that I hope that the level one effects of these abilities are actually really good because, uh, you know, if you're negating your captains to get a really low multiplier, that would be garbage. Hopefully the multipliers stay the same with every level of rush tap, but potentially the additional effects on top of that will, will, will scale depending on your level. Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. We don't have really much information to go off of in regards to this. Rush taps are not like standard taps. Certain effects, such as Super Tandem, will not be triggered. Aside from the first tap in the Rush Sugo, all other taps will be classified as either a Chain Tap or a Finish Tap. So this is interesting. It means that you can't use a Rush Tap special unit to trigger a Super Tandem, right? It means that if you want to use a rush tap character, you have to activate the super tandem prior to activating your rush tap. That's what I understand, unless if 
you can't stack super tandem and rush tap in the same turn if that is the case then i really don't know how successful this is going to be because as we know rush tap is solely focused on this one unit tapping multiple times but super tandem has the ability that can buff your entire team to crazy crazy levels so again we need to see more details in regards to what rush sugo actually does because in my head right now super tandem does still seem superior but we'll have to wait and see uh, you can only activate one Rush Sugo special per turn. HP reducing effects like poison slots and other sources of damage can still kill you. So be careful. So it means if you have a poison slot on a character that activates Rush Sugo, uh, every time you tap with a poison slot, that is actually going to, you know, do, do damage to you. So you have to be very, very careful about that. Rush Sugo specials have a special animation, which I'm excited to see. You can skip them by double tapping. If you try to launch both a Super Tandem and a Rush Sugo at the same time, the Rush Sugo special will take priority. So the Super Tandem will not trigger. So this is interesting, as I was mentioning, you can't activate Super Tandem and Rush Sugo with the same character. So you do have to be very careful. So you have to activate Super Tandem before the Rush Sugo special. Very, very interesting. Effects such as Toy Bears will not aid in activating the Rush Sugo Special, which is the exact same as uh, Super Tandem. Super Tandem also does not activate from the effect of Sugar's Toy Soldiers. No matter if you're even in the correct order, it will not activate because when they transform into a Toy Bear, they're technically not the same character anymore, which I think is the reasoning why the Super Tandem doesn't activate. But also another reason is that for Super Tandem to activate, you need to hit a good, great, or a perfect. And because the toys hit in the hobby hobby status um that actually doesn't fulfill the requirement of the super tandem itself so there's multiple reasons for that but it's interesting to talk about the rush sugo special is almost here and i'm really interested to see what we have in store for us in regards to this new potential zora character are we still going to get a sanji a queen and a king i really hope that is going to happen i don't expect this zoro to be a versus unit anymore just due to the fact that this unique gauge is solely focused on Zoro and there is no additional unique gauge for King or Queen, Sanji, whatever. So I feel like it's going to be a solo Zoro legend, but let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you guys did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And that guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.